What's up guys, we are here at the Conrad Centennial Singapore for... Do you hear that? No, no, think, listen. It sounds like... Rasa Sayang. It sounds like the violin, but who could be playing the violin in a hotel? I'm going to go follow the sound. Come on. From Bach to Nirvana. It seems like he can do it all. David Garrett was in Singapore recently to promote his latest crossover album, Rock Symphonies. David Garrett is a star in both the classical and rock worlds with close to 10 albums to his name and boy does he rock it on his violin. Since the musical maestro was always challenging musical boundaries, we decided that the 31-year-old German would be up for our challenge. How about a dash of Singaporean flavour into his wide repertoire? We're going to do a razor, razor pop challenge for David Garrett. I'm going to play you a very, uh, a very traditional song here in Singapore. It's called Rasa Sayang. After just three listens, we asked him to give us his best rendition of the song. Give us your best shot, your best rendition of Rasa Sayang. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here, here we go, go, here we go. It was it was about there. It was it, you you were me, the, maybe the last part, but it was almost there, guys. It was almost there. David's visit to Singapore came just after string quartet Bond was in town recently to promote their latest album play. That's quite a number of sexy people on strings these few weeks. So does David like female violinists as much as we do? I love females. <laughs> what about violinists? Female violinists. I love the violin. And <laughs> so I you love put the two together? Females. And anything else... Uh, I don't know. Okay. I mean, if, listen, I don't have anything against girls playing the violin. Okay. Don't get me wrong. In the contrary, you know, it can be, you know, very exciting and very beautiful. But it just has to be the right person. You know, the right. talent has to be there also, you know. Would you uh, consider collaborating with any female violinists in the future? Of course. Of course. I mean, it's uh, just a matter of, like, really skill, as you said before. You know, if somebody's good, they can be freaking mice I'll play with mice if they can play the violin properly David Garrett will play with mice <laughs> yes if they can play so practice <laughs> practice out there. I mean here in Singapore we have a local talent we have a Vanessa yeah. Mae have you heard of Vanessa Mae uh, I think everybody has okay, okay. okay I gotta be very careful now <laughs> <laughs> national treasure here <laughs> so, <laughs> so have you heard any of her songs uh no, no, no. I can't really. Okay. I can't really can't say because it's really one of those few people I know about, but I never really investigated. Right, right, right. But I, I next time I come to Singapore, I'll investigate. Got to check out Vanessa. So May. I can give you some some pointers. It seems the life of a rock star isn't as awesome as we think. Even on his second trip here, David still did not get the full Singapore experience. Uh, what are your other experiences of Singapore? My other experiences, uh, they are going to be not that many. <laughs> I, I like the hotel I'm staying in, the room is very nice, and the room service <laughs> and the food is, is exquisite. Have you tried any, any local food? Um, I tried the buffet yesterday at the bar, okay. which is very nice, okay. great food. But I really, outside of this hotel, I, I've not really not had much, much experiences. Have you ever visited any local places, landmarks yet? No, no, no. Okay. Um, Nobody takes me anywhere. That's, that's, no, no. It's, it's that's really like the 
the sacrifice of an artist, you travel somewhere and people always think, oh, great life, you travel. You but what people don't realize is I travel and I don't see anything. Right. And how frustrating is it's like It's like having the woman of your dreams in front of you and not being able to touch it. Right. It's like you have this wonderful girlfriend, but you, you have to be celibate. <laughs> I have cities and I'm celibate in the cities because I can't see any of the sites. Okay, so kind of sucks. Maybe you should come back to Singapore and just have a holiday. Yeah, right. <laughs> or maybe have a day of work and or two or three days of work and one day off. Yeah, and just take a break. Well, all work and no play makes David a dull boy. We hope he sees more of Singapore the next time he's here. In the next clip, we talk more about work and play with David. Stay tuned.